Yo everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact. In the last episode, we were sidetracked by doing Sing Chow's quest, even though we wanted to start the Lantern Ride quest. So, for this episode, I'd say I'm just gonna ignore the Sing Chow quest for once because. Oh, oh let, let me get my daily look in rewards. Also, by the way, I wasn't here for a few days. I was still playing Genshin the last two days, but I didn't have time to record. I was playing like on Twitch, doing daily commissions and farming some materials. But basically, Xiao was gone. <laughs> Let's just try out Kaching because I have actually don't have an idea uh, about her playstyle. Because I know that she can like uh, create clones of herself and like is very fast and things and I don't want like I even didn't know at first that she was a sword user. Character description. Kaching unleashes her elemental skill by throwing out a lightning stiletto. Using her elemental skill again causes her to swiftly travel to the positions of the stiletto and deal ele electro damage. Okay so the stiletto are the clones I think. Holding her elemental skill allows her to adjust the direction of the stiletto throw. Kaching's elemental burst is the otherworldly apex of her sword style, seemingly turning her into many streaks of arcing lightning that can bring even the celestial stars down to earth. The skill deals, deals multiple instances of electro damage to enemies within its AoE, and the final strike deals immense AoE electro damage. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the trial event challenge to facilitate the testing of the trial character's elemental burst. Talking about celestial energy. Oh, Barbara is in a trial for one second. I thought it was Luminate. I was like confused. So why is Luminate here? I had a dream about Genshin Impact once again. Oh my god, she's a good fighter. She does lots of damage. And uh, I saw Celestia in my dream. <laughs> like up close. That was weird. Okay, so now I can port. Oh. Okay, so we can set a mark that we can port to the enemy. That's cool. What the fuck? I need her. <laughs> and the cooldown is so short too, oh my god. Why do I have Barbara on my team though? She's Hydro. Like, just as I'm here? I don't know. Oh my god, that's OP. That's OP as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, give me elemental shit. Hey! With sword comes shadow. With sword comes shadow. Oh my god. I feel like she would be a good damage dealer together with Xiao. <laughs> if you got Xiao, because now he's gone. Uh. And I think Wenty Banner has been confirmed. <laughs> or oh, like they have been talking about reruns and even Albedo coming back. And I'm like, I wasted 7k Primo Gems on the wrong character. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but that just means I'm closer to pity. Okay, okay, okay. Lantern right, all that glitters. So let's continue this quest for now. Hello, Xiao. And go to quest. Glimmers of the Vigilant Yorkshire. Yeah, that's the thing that we started before. Oh, so heavy. Uh, go to one wind book house. Right, right, that's where it started. And then we got sidetracked because they were like, uh, this character is currently busy doing another quest. You can't do this right now. And I'm like, uh. Let's get sidetracked, uh, but for this episode we won't get sidetracked, guys, I promise. So, um, because I'm running out of days to do this event, and uh, I think there's like a challenge that you have to beat multiple times again, and that will take more time, the m mechanica or something thing, and I definitely need those primer gems, so, uh, <laughs> uh yeah. That's what we have to do today, grinding quests and challenges, and I know my team isn't the best right now. Also, I'm so confused. I was streaming yesterday, as I said, and I have Mona on my team right now, you see, and she's got like uh, 800 attack uh, stats right now. But like while I was checking uh, before, like at first when I was looking at the menu, it was like it had this DD stats, right? And then I... I checked again after a fight and it was at like 1000 at 100 attack, like 1000 1000 at first, like 1041 and then I uh, enhanced one of the artifacts to uh, more attack and then it was even higher. Oh no, I leveled up the weapon, right, I leveled up the weapon. Uh, so it has like 401 base attack. 
And then this year it was like at 1000, at 1k, but now it's back to 800, I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe it has something to do with something, I don't know. I'm bad at building characters, okay? Oh, the one of my book house is over here. Also, excuse me, my uh, throat is kinda sore. That's what happens when you go outside for one day. <laughs> oh, the imposter is back amongst us. So, you'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? No. Yes. Here, and keep the change. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. How could anyone fall for this? Like, look at this guy, he just looks like the biggest of all the imposters. Hey, isn't that... um... Star Snapper? <laughs> what a coincidence running into him again! Star Snapper. Uh, coincidence or Adepti... Adepti incidence. Did you hear the name of the book he just bought? Was it Yaksha's The Guardian Adeptus? Oh, he really wants to be one of them. He's just a weep. He's just like Fischl. Uh, well, anyway, it was definitely a book about the Adepti. Why would an Adeptus want to buy a book about himself? He's not an Adepti, Paimon. He just needs some books to, like, impersonate them. I always found him fishy. Really? What's so fishy the about mask. him? His mask is so ugly. <laughs> Why would an Adeptus want people to pay him more? He's a charlatan if you ask me. His mask is so ugly. That's true. It really <laughs> is. Very suspicious. I like how they give us like all these definitely uh uh those those aspects that are like oh uh he's like asking people for money. An Adepti would need money. He's clearly tricking and uh, manipulating them. But then we're like, we're like, oh, we don't, we don't even even know about this. We don't know that he's like impersonating them. We're just gonna judge based on how ugly his mask looks compared to shells. Hmm. <laughs> Paimon thinks we should check out that book. Maybe we'll find out something about this guy that we can use. Okay. That sounds like a reasonable uh, option. Talk to Jifang and ask about the actress, the guardian adepti. She just bar she just lent the book to this guy. How are we supposed to get it now? I don't think they have more copies. Hey there! We'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti. Do you have one um, in stock? Calling it, probably not. Huh. Since when did that old chestnut become a bestseller? I don't know. You're a rare breed of youngster if this is what you like to read. But you should be able to find a copy somewhere on that shelf. Thank over you, there. Catherine. Just calling every girl of that haircut Catherine from now on. Search for Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti. Uh, uh, um, oh, so, hey, I found it. Not? Glimmers of the Vigilant Yaksha. This is the one. Let's see what it's all about, Let's shall go. we? Story time. In ancient times, Liyue was a land of misery, oh. where the shadow of evil That's the character large. trailer from Shao, from the YouTube channel. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters, and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter, purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them. Phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished without a trace. In the millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Guyon, and in Wendy. the sound of the Dihua flute, is his memory preserved. <laughs> they literally included the whole trailer <laughs> in the game. <laughs> well, that's something I didn't expect. Um, game? This book okay. is about the Yakshas, a group of Adepti who defend Leo. I don't know, I have seen this trailer like three times. <laughs> hmm, seems like a pretty niche topic. Was there anything that stood out to um, you? The way he pronounced miasmas, which sounded like miasma. 
<laughs> and as someone who has asthma, that's relatable. Uh, about demons. About the soul surviving Yaksha. Uh, you look kind of familiar with that mask, I'd say. So, there used to be five main Yakshas. But supposedly, only one of them is still alive today. And he didn't want to come home in the gacha system, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to Wenty. Do you think that it could have anything to do with that star snatcher guy? <laughs> yeah, Paimon, that's definitely the one we were talking about. Hmm. No, surely not. He doesn't exactly give off the impression that he's been suffering for thousands of years. Exactly, he looks too genki for that. <laughs> Uh, about demons. The book says that the wrathful spirits of the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. Oh, damn. All of which sound pretty horrendous. Oh, hey, wait a second. Paimon wonders Paimon if... Paimon wonders if what? <laughs> Do you think those super evil hilly trolls we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? Okay, he's nodding, so I guess, yeah, but <laughs> I didn't think so. About karma. The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. Oh, it's so tragic. After everything they went through in all of their years of protecting Lila, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering instead. Ah, pain. Uh, nothing else that I can think of. Yep, Paimon thinks we've already summed up all the key points. So back to the matter at hand. The things we need answers on are one, where did those super evil looking hilly trolls come from? And two, what does Star Snatcher have to do with the Yakshas? I don't right? know how he did it, but I still think that he maybe summoned the hilly trolls, or I don't know. That was a weird coincidence that he was like standing right next to them. So I think he did this with like using a potion he made with alchemy or some shit. It was like, oh, these guys are cursed, and look at me, I'm the Star Snatcher, I'm an adept, and I can cleanse the world from this evil. And he was the guy who cursed him in the first place. <laughs> Just to prove now something. Now to head back to where this all started and commence our investigation. Let's part the fog of mystery that hangs over Dway and Karst, and let the truth shine through in its full glory. So we're playing detective now, are we? You're way too into this, this ain't Danganronpa. <laughs> to be honest, Paimon actually hopes he is a real nope. adeptus. Uh, his exorcism technique seemed real enough at Paimon, least. Paimon, before I believe this guy that he's an adeptus, I'd rather believe you that you're an adeptus. Why is why do her, her eyes look like stars like the universe when everyone that has like a universe design is connected to the abyss? Paimon, <laughs> you scare me. Hmm. But if we get our hopes up, there's further for them to come down. So it makes sense to investigate thoroughly first, just to be sure. You know, sure. like every time we're like playing the game, and Paimon says something, and I really love Paimon. Like I, I like her character. She's not annoying at all. Like even though she may have come off kind of too rude in the beginning of the game, but like now I just look at her design, and like every every little detail in her design gives me bad vibes because like I see this sign here. Which looks like something uh, associated with demons, I don't know. <laughs> I see the scarf and I think of the evil goddess from the beginning of the game. I see the Primogem sign and I think of the evil goddess from the beginning of the game. I see the goddamn cape and you know what I think about? Yeah, the goddess from the beginning of the game and I'm like... <sighs> uh, pain. Alright, let's head back to Wang Shilin! Alright, alright, alright. All right. Return to Wang Shilin and look for the Star Snatcher. I like how the game is still referring to him as Star Snatcher. Uh, yeah. He's not the Star Snatcher. God damn it. Oh, also, I was doing a daily commission uh, the other day uh, at the Mon Monset Cathedral, and it was the one with like the guy who's like sneaking around the cathedral. So this nun called Victoria was like, oh, there's this guy snooping around here. Can you tell him to frick off? And, like, I was... Like, Victoria being a nun, I, I switched to Barbara to take a picture. And then there was this guy called uh, called El Albert. 
and I talked to him and he was like, oh, have you seen Barbara? Uh, I'm the biggest Barbara fan. I have the Barbara fan clip. Uh, why can't I talk to Barbara? And I'm like, dude, she's standing right in front of you. Uh, it's nice to have like daily commissions sometimes that actually have some plot or story. Yo, what's up, Faker? Flee at my command, foul demon. No. Uh, where'd you get the sigil of... Flee. Where did you get the sigil of permission, though? That's what I'm wondering. Why... Why won't you flee? Because you're an imposter. Burn him. Yeah. Oh, there are cat girls now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like Star Snatcher's in trouble. I don't care. Can I just walk away, please? And there are innocent bystanders here, too. Uh, we have to stick None of in. my business. Why isn't there, like, a dialogue option that just says, Fuck off. Uh, die. I'm not doing anything. Oh, throwing stones at me, are we? What are you gonna do? Come you go. on. Okay. Focus. Born of ice and okay. Frost. Blaze over. You won. Maybe I will deal damage to you. Pathetic. 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 Oh, I wanted to shoot at him. Oh, come on. Cut off a second too early. Oh, I don't get it. Why didn't the sigil of permission do because anything? Because you don't have any powers. Has the evil aura of these hilly churls grown in intensity? <laughs> Look at our faces. We're like, <laughs> shut up already. Sigil of permission, huh? Now, why does that sound familiar? Uh, I don't know, Paimon. Maybe because Child used it to, like, almost wipe out the whole city of Leo Harbor. Ah, yes, the get out of Chuyen free card. So that's what he was using for his exorcism. Yeah, but I thought we've seen it before. Like, when you first talked to this guy and he was already using this, using this thing, so... Why are we surprised? Shouldn't we know already? Right! It's a keepsake of the Adepti! So it must still contain traces of their power! <gasps> no wonder he was able to scare those monsters away earlier! Being smart now, are we, Paimon? <laughs> what are you two babbling on about? One is merely underslept. Meaning that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. Even his voice changed to sound more normal now. <laughs> Were one but given another opportunity... Well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of <laughs> evil hilly churls over there. Should we leave them to you then? Ah, man, prove yourself. I, uh, uh, one suddenly feels ill at <laughs> ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. Adeptis never get tired. <sighs> so you were just bragging after all. We were right to be suspicious. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Come on, traveler. Looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight and hunt them traveler down. Traveler Paimon, we've been playing this game since 20... Uh, 52 52 episodes now I used to call me traveler I thought we were closer <laughs> did your friendship mean nothing to us I'm not gonna talk to you guys you guys suck okay maybe one is merely feeling unwell one hopes that you shall not spread these tidings once I, I just want to talk to these other guys and hear them like ah this guy was shit from the beginning why did I waste my time and money on him uh Talk to me. It's not like the Master of Stars to fail an exorcism. Perhaps he isn't feeling well today? Perhaps he's not an Adepti. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just woke up. I can't believe that the Master of Stars wasn't powerful enough to defeat those hillichers. You look like every other uh, Leo NPC. Well, what about you, Ying Er? What happened there? Good thing we had you around, oh, huh? simping for me now, are we? I'll appreciate this. Okay, so I gotta use my elemental side. Look, I'm swerving, swerving through the floor. I don't have to use my elemental side when the map literally tells me where to go. Oh! <gasps> oh! I see a little silhouette of a man. Shall, 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 shall. It doesn't rhyme. <laughs> oh, it's that conqueror of demons again! No wonder! Paimon was... Oh. 
just wondering who could have made such short work of these hilly trails. Hey, sexy. Let's let's cut Paimon off in a sense again. See what a real adeptus has to say about all this. Oh my god. It's you. I oh damn, you. he's so pretty. Oh fuck, oh fuck. I'm simping, I'm simping. <laughs> I'm simping, even though I already wasted all of my primogems on his banner when it was still up. And now it's gone and I didn't even want him, but now I'm simping. I was purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Yeah, it's okay, you didn't cause me trouble actually. I'm glad that I didn't have to do the fight now. Huh? He isn't usually this polite. What's going All right, on? Alright, he's usually kind of kind of an asshole. But you are exercising demons! How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Or more precisely, from the karma I have accumulated. Mutations? Karma? Oh, does that mean- So Shao was the final Yaksha. We read about that in the book. Yeah, who didn't- didn't he- didn't he introduce himself as Yaksha before, like, in the Liyue main quest when we first met him at Wang Shuin? Didn't he literally say that he's not an adept type but an Yaksha? Yeah, Paimon yeah. remembers that Xiao is also called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't it? Wow, <laughs> that took you, that took you a couple of minutes. So, so that means... Aww. Aww. <laughs> the whole fandom be like? <laughs> oh no. We read about your past in a book. We were just reading a book called Yaksha's yeah, The Guardian Adepta. I see. You must mean that piece of literati fan fiction from a few hundred years ago. <laughs> fan fiction. Oh, his fingers aren't glowing. Isn't it usually glowing? I don't know. I've seen too many cosplays. Uh. Uh. How awkward would it feel? people can read about your tragic past, your backstory, in a freaking book they can find at the library. <laughs> All things are impermanent, and to exist is to suffer. We Yakshas have no need of sympathy or tears. <laughs> at first I didn't even see the mask, I was like, why are they zooming in on his ass? <laughs> My comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Back to being edgy, are we? It matters not. In any case, I am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence. So we shall part ways oh. here. Wait! Take us with you! We'll be a big help! Paimon promises! No need. I am used to fighting alone. And in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Consider it Paimon's parents for being accidentally rude just now. Please? <laughs> Paimon apologizing? Oh my god, that's so rare. Well, I... Uh... I'm giving her... I'm giving her two more cutscenes until she comes up with an ugly nickname for him. Come on, then. Um... So, Xiao, you've been suffering from the bad karma all this time? Suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter. I have come to accept this. Suffering is his kink. Oh. But in recent years, other living things have suffered when the burden should be mine alone to bear. I must reflect on this. That's such a pretty cave here. Whoa. Hey. Aww. Aww. Look at us. Look at us chilling in front of Wang Shuin. I've never seen Wang Shuin from this angle, though. <laughs> Look at the dead Hilly Trolls chilling over there. Yo, what's up, buddy? Finish your preparations, and we shall enter. We should not leave those monsters be for too long. Okay. I like the glowing sound. Karma Heavy Cavern. Oh! Oh, I'm so overleveled, but oh, look how pretty! It's a new domain. Okay, uh... Uh, wait. Oh, we can test Chow on this, so I don't think I need Animo, but I'm gonna go with my main team still, but instead of Kaya, I'm gonna use Ganyu. What are my orders? Your orders are to... I don't know. To be my waifu. That's what I'm saying to Ganyu at this point. Eh. Let's freaking go. 
Oh, this looks so cool. Have I seen this in the trailer before? I will use the ritual known as the Bane of All Evil to relieve this place of its Oh karma. my god, that's so beautiful. What the fuck? You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Oh, I like the color contrast of the red and the dark blue. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! oh playing only with Xiao now. I don't even have a healer. He's not even level 80. Quest specific effect. As a result of the buildup of divine karma in the area, Xiao will have bane of all evil permanently activate and will constantly lose HP. I don't even have Barbara here. I just know like, the effect of that divine karma will allow Xiao to regenerate HP when he deals damage to opponent. Okay, I see. Oh, I'm already losing HP. Oh my god. But I can take pictures. Oh, no, I can't. Oh! Oh, okay, there's a floor here. Why does he jump so high? Oh my god. Um, animal. Give me back my HP. It's not, it's not giving me back anything. Okay, okay, this is way too much fun. Fuck. I regret, I regret not getting him. But I may be getting Wendy, please. Okay, playing him and Kuching would be such a nice combo. Why is this so much fun? Oh, guys, I didn't get Child, who's like an adept type to fight, uh, to fight with, and then I didn't get Shao, who's an Yaksha. I feel pain. I feel pain not for not having the edgy guys on my team. Please, Scaramouche win. Ah, there's a time limit! I didn't even see! What do you mean? I don't even see what's going on, I'm literally just spamming buttons real quick. Imagine if he would always have this effect of not losing any HP, constantly being in this mode and... and even healing himself. That would be so cool, but also so, uh, OP. That must be the power you got for being a vigilant Yaksha, right? Yes. Paimon's just realized that you only wear your mask when you're fighting the bad guys. Oh but my god. But Star Snatcher so guy wears his mask the rest of the time, too. Star Snatcher? <laughs> I am aware of no Adeptus by such a name. Oh. So he is a fraud. Well, we'll continue this discussion okay, okay, I'm later. Losing HP. You should focus on your battle for now. He can jump so high. That's so crazy. Look at the view. Oh my! I'm here. Okay, I'm getting my HP back right now. Chill, chill. Uh. Oh my God! There's so much damage. Plunge attack. Plunge attack. No treasure chest for me. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. That would be such a nice wallpaper. Actually. Uh. Oh, over here. I like jumping with him. He's like playing Mario. Hey, give me more loot. Okay, Prima Gems, I ain't complaining. Yeah, we heading to the moon or whatever this is. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have like up to three charges with this attack. The, uh, the attack. Why are you still here? Okay, now he's gone. Gone, 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 gone. Why don't they give me bigger enemies? Like, where's the freaking lava show or something? Yes. Oh. Worthless. Worthless. Come here. Worthless. 
okay. He's useless, worthless. Homeless, helpless. I can't think of any more words like that. Um, healer guy. Be gone guy. Wait, that's not the healer guy, he's animal. Um, whatever, I don't like, I don't like so much else. Even though they were cute. Give me bad memories. Uh, Why am I trying to do a charge attack? This guy ain't showing Lee. <laughs> Anything to say to me, huh? Come on, last one standing. It is good that we came here. An unusual number of living things had fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now, this star snatcher you speak of what is the situation he wants to be edgy so bad <laughs> Ooh, I <wanna> tell you. <laughs> time to spill the tea an adeptus who grants wishes to think that people could be so easily deceived by such blatant Come on, lies. let's go back and beat his ass as an adeptus do you have the power to grant wishes <laughs> can you uh, oh my god he actually has the power to grant wishes because i'm sure lots of us wished for wenty to come back and if wenty is coming back after the kuching banner then oh my god our wishes have been heard the liyue of yesteryear would never ask the adepti for boons unearned yesteryear the frick is that millennia ago the ancestral people of Liyue asked for nothing more than the strength to defend the land they called their home. Uh, to be honest, an adepta who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays. That's not how it works, Paimon. Be grateful for the things you have. <laughs> However feeble people nowadays may be, they are not my concern. I concern myself only with following Rex Lapis's original decree. He's like, fuck the humans. Oops. I even spoke without thinking again. As always. <laughs> oh, uh, one more thing? That fake Adeptus has a sigil of permission. It's what he uses to exercise demons. Wait. Truly? <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. Confiscate that. Oh, I think I'd also like to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I want to beat this bad. Uh, I want to beat this guy's ass. I can talk. <laughs> Great minds think yeah. alike. Paimon agrees. We've got to show that trickster what you get for trying to fool us. <laughs> I like to picture Paimon beating up this guy. It just so happens that we've got a real adeptus with us too. If Xiao were to teach Star Snatcher a lesson, you can bet he'll never dare to pose as an adeptus ever again. That's why I tried to shoot my charged attack with Ganyu at him, but then the game cut me off. No. I only slay demons. I do not kill mortals. <gasps> Are you a fan of Demon Slayer? <laughs> Yeah, right? We're just gonna hurt him a little, we're just gonna torture him a little, I don't know, man. You name it. <laughs> I name it, you don't name it because you're a pussy, apparently. <laughs> it would certainly benefit Liyue if we could convince him to cease his wicked words. Fight me, Xiao. Fight me. <laughs> I possess an art called Dream Trawler. Oh. It is normally used to separate the soul from the, the body. That one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream. Oh, well, that's... That's OP. But it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Whoa. Now that's a real adept I art for Similar to gifting dreams and visions, you scare him out of his wits for sure. A ritual must be performed for this art to be used. Assist me in gathering a few items. A sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Something to reduce, to reduce the temperature. Temperature, you mean Kaya? He's like... Dodge this! Ugh. Reduce the temperature. Oh, some mist flowers will probably do, so right? I have them. But as for the sensor and the seven lamps, hmm, probably not the kinds of things are gonna just stumble across in the wild. Do you know of the two Yaksha statues 
that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern face of Mount Tianhong? Uh. Oh, Mount Tianhong is the thing behind Liyue, right? Yeah. The ancestors of the people of Liyue built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. You should still be able to find some ceremonial items All right. there. Once you have found them, meet me at the Yaksha statues after nightfall, and I will teach you how to use this oh art. Oh my god. Yes, please. Please, 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 master. Oh. Getting loot, yeah. Swerve. Oh, so pretty, but one must go forth. Oh my god, we're gonna, gonna, gonna become an adept, I know. Hell yeah. Star Snatcher could never. I'm gonna snatch the Star Snatcher's title. And now I'm the Star Snatcher Snatcher. Snatched, sister. Snatched. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it would be so cool if, like, Xiao would teach us some uh, adaptive fighting styles and we could actually, like, use them as an elemental skill. I'm not loading! Oh, I have first person glitch for a second. Uh? Excuse me? Uh, it's over here. I thought you mean you meant the statue standing somewhere here. Th these ones, these two. Insides of drifting dreams. Then let's go, I guess. Maybe we already. Ah, uh, no, wait. We only have the frosting flowers. Frosting flowers. Mist flower. That's what it's called. <laughs> That's a way cooler name than Frosting Flowers. Uh, have I seen this place before? Have I been here before? Oh, I have. That's uh, next to the border. Okay, then I know where it's been. Those are the lanterns. Can't do anything here. Uh, ciao. This temple will probably have the kinds of sensors and lanterns that Xiao wanted us to pick up. You're not Xiao. The spirit soars the mountains high, while the body rests as the world goes by. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but... We'd like to borrow a sensor and some lamps. He's probably not gonna give them to us. Oh, I like the soundtrack. It sounds so mysterious. Well, I'll be. Isn't that something? The soundtrack always reminds me of a Depti. A pair walk into a shrine, neither to seek nor worship gods or Adepti, but to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. <laughs> we know it's rude to ask, but we just need them for a short while. Honest. Please, Xiao asked us. He's literally the fifth Yakcha. Please don't turn us down. The dream trawler ritual I trust. He knows. How do you know Look that? at my face. He can read my mind. I have been in the shrine for far longer than you would expect. He's also six thousand years old, probably. Perhaps as a reward for my faithfulness, I have been endowed with some understanding of the adept oh, arts. Damn. Wow, Paimon's never heard of that happening before. Ah, uh, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these items may be of service to you. That was honestly easier than I would have expected. <laughs> they serve little purpose here, in any case. Ah, uh, well thanks, it's something on your mind. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing that you need concern yourself with. Please, take what you wish. That sounds kind of sus, though. I don't care. I'm gonna get the lamps and I'm gonna skedaddle out of here. Collect the items needed for the ritual. Sensor. What's the sensor? Oh, this thing. This sensor should be fine. How right? are we supposed to carry it to Shao? This is big as fuck. At least it isn't as run down as the shrine. Oh, come on, Pine Moon, don't be rude. You return to the vicinity of the temple after transferring the sensor. So next, we just need to grab the seven star lamps, right? The sooner we start, the sooner we'll be yes, done. Yes, I already saw them. Let's go. Couldn't even look at this thing, man. Oh. Oh. Sad. An adept eye too. Oh, look. It looks like the cleansing bell. That's an interesting place here. Very interesting. 
Seven Star Lantern. Hey, they look so pretty, and now I gotta take them all, snatch them all away. Star Snatcher, Lamp Snatcher. <laughs> we are the same height. Oh my god, look at us. Twinsies, actually. Wow, play is so tiny. Yeah, I feel bad for stealing these things. They look so pretty here. Why aren't they all over the whole map? Okay, okay, where's the last one? Where's the last one? Uh, over there. Almost didn't see it because it's so far away. Guys, I'm so excited for the lantern, right? It's gonna look so beautiful. Gimme. Hyman thinks we've got all the ones we can use now. But let's say bye to that guy before we leave, shall we? Hi, Mom. Thanks. Okay. Okay. <gasps> he despawned. He turned into the statue. Huh? Where did he go? Oh, literally. He was right <laughs> Literally, I was just talking bullshit. <laughs> I presume uh. that once you had acquired what you came for, you would forget about me and simply be on your way. I knew that this guy is older and wiser than he seemed. Hello? Where are you? My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion created by the Adepti art known as Mortal Lane. That's so cool, oh my god. Now that you have taken the seven star lamps and sensor used in the Mortal Lingering ritual, my form is no longer visible <laughs> to you. <laughs> You're a g g ghost? <laughs> oh. It is not untrue to say this. The line between Adepti and ghosts is a fine one indeed. Yeah, but Adepti aren't spooky. I was once a junior in the Order of the Yakshas, bestowed with the name Pervases by Rex Lapis himself. Yet my strength failed, and I was slain in battle. Hey, so you're practically dead, but you're still alive because you're a, a, a Yaksha. That's cool. That's OP. Also, yeah, Parabasis was a way to... to, uh... uh unordinary? Extraordinary? I don't know English. It was a way too special name for some random NPC. Today is the anniversary of my death. My last wish was to see a modern Liyue. And so I took the liberty of performing this ritual so here. Shao must have known when he was like, oh... You gotta get those things for me, and he knew what this guy was preparing it, probably. That aside, you were sent here by the Conqueror of Demons, were yes, you Yes, by Demon Slayer, by, uh... I forgot the name of the red-haired guy. Tanjiro? Tanjiro, no. Wait, you... <laughs> Tanjiro? With a J? I think, actually. Oh. So, you two know each other, then? Best buddies. I sense his aura upon you. That and the heavy burden of his karma. <sighs> Even after all these millennia, he still must endure such tremendous suffering. Uh, can I click? I am truly ashamed. Don't say that, Pervases. You sacrificed your life for Lila, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's brave. Life is a precious thing, yes. But when I think of the burden that the Conqueror of Demons must bear... <sighs> death seems to me to have been the easy way out. A selfish indulgence, even. Look at the signs in the grass on the statue. It looks exactly like the statues on uh, King Yun Peak. Pervases. <laughs> I apologize. Birthdays are joyful occasions, but by the same token, it is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two, and please pass on my regards to the Conqueror of Demons. Yeah, you take care too, Parasis. <sighs> if only I could taste some authentic grilled ticker fish once more. Uh. Hyman would probably give you some of that right now if she could. By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. Huh? Looks like he's gone then. 
Paimon really hopes that at least someone will remember Pervasi's the Yaksha. I will. I'm actually... <laughs> I'm feeling something right now. This is such a sad story, guys. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> we should get going. But let's come back here and make an offering sometime. Can we please get him back to life? Come on. I don't need no 5-star character. I don't need no shell. I don't need no 20. I'm gonna use my... I wish that will be granted by the conqueror of demons and Rex Lapis to bring this guy back to life just so he can taste something for one more time. <laughs> emotions, guys, emotions. Let me take a selfie with my best friend. Oh, you will be remembered in our hearts forever. Head to the Yaksha statues after nightfall. Uh, it ain't nightfall. I'm heading the wrong way. I will la, la, la. walk by feet if da, da, da. it will be night by then. Okay, now I'm gonna teleport my my ass over there. Uh, you know, let's fly it down from uh, Chanheng Mountain. Mount Chanheng. Ch Chancheng. I don't know pronunciations, guys, but. Uh, no. Hello, it ain't nightfall, but I don't care. The soundtrack is so relaxing. Oh, by the way, hold up. While we're while we're up here, please don't say you. Okay. Yay, I did it. I am oh. not gonna waste my intertwined fades. I'm gonna waste these though. Maybe we can get something cool. Or maybe we're just gonna get trash. I don't really have any other uses for uh, the acquired fate anyway, so we can just keep them away. Oh my god, that's so unlucky! Wait, no, I did it. That wasn't worth anything. Oh, there's the sensor. I see you. Look at this thing. I didn't even see it before. Couldn't look at it. Okay. Okay. Time travel. Let night fall, fall upon us. Osmanthus wine and now he spawned here. Remember. But where are those who share? The I was memory? like, when did I change my team? But uh, I was in the domain. Look at us, like father and son. Look at the height difference, oh my god, he's so tiny! Oh, my pet silly likes to play with Shao. I always forget that he's also a playable character now. I could not trust my eyes if someone would play him in co-op. Osmanthus, why? Have you gathered the items for the yes. ritual? Hmm. This sensor and these lamps. Their designs are flawless. Almost as if they were made specifically for use in the Adepti Arts. Where did you come we by them? We got them from a Yaksha named Pervasus. Oh, and, um, he said <laughs> Tell hi! Tell him I said hi! Pervasus. <sighs> yes. This does have the hallmarks of something Pervasus might He's do. He's a cool guy. I miss him. As I thought, it seems that he could not leave Leoa behind, either. I hope that its present state will allow him to rest in peace. Hmm. Well then, let us begin preparing for the ritual. Place the sensor in the middle and surround it with the seven star lamps. Adorn the area with the items of abject cold. Once this is done, we shall proceed. You prepare the ground for the dream thing. Yes, this will do. Now. The next step is the key to performing Dream Trawler. This looks so pretty, this whole setup, oh my god. There are four steps to performing this ritual. Offering incense, meditation, incantation, and loosing an arrow. Using an arrow, how can we do that? Can child just like throw his arrow? <laughs> that seems like a real rigmarole. Not like a rickroll. Adepti arts are the product of millennia of study by Adepti. Do not dismiss their mystical workings as rigorous. I don't even know what that means. Failure to take this seriously could cause the technique to devour one's own body. 
or cause the spirit to be sundered from one's flesh permanently. <laughs> Stop talking! Paimon, sorry! <laughs> when offering the incense, we place the incense into the censer with reverence for Rex Lapis in our hearts. Meditation is to empty ourselves of trivial thoughts and to focus on the target of the art we are performing. Oh, there's an then we shall recite the incantation in a loud voice. Devayaksha, bring forth sin. Finally, we will loose an arrow towards each of the Yaksha statues to enlist their authority for our contract. I don't understand what's going on. If all goes well, Star Snatcher's soul will be brought forth shortly. Understand. <laughs> if you have no other questions, let us begin. <laughs> okay. Um. 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 Initiate the ritual according to the correct process. Oh, guys, what does Shell want from me? Uh. Let's go. <laughs> Offer incense. Look at beautiful. Look at you. I can talk. I'm, this guy just deep fried my brain. Single handedly. Then we meditate. Ugh. Paimon really doesn't want to think about that fraud. Hmm. Mm. Oh. oh. Um. Uh. Hmm. Uh, they may bring forth sin. Uh, bring forth sin. Nothing happens. It looks like the Yaksha statues are glowing at the waist. Oh. So we just fire one arrow each at the glowing parts, right? Okay, that's what I got gun you for. Did we forget something? Um, come here. I'm stuck. I want to hit the bullseye. Nice. To the letter. Yeah. <sighs> Close enough. <laughs> what the fuck did what, what do you mean? Hello, I did it. Leave the rest to me. You two get ready to greet him. He looks so pissed. Where is one? Huh? Uh, you two look familiar. You too, so you've seen Shao. Oh, he's talking about me and Paimon, okay. What's with one's body? One feels light. Weightless. <laughs> Can you stop talking like that? Guess what? You're already dead. We summoned your spirit form of adept. You're already dead. Dead? Yes. Impossible. One was just lying in peaceful repose at Wang Shu Inn. Well, guess what? <laughs> Wait. That must be it. Of course it must. <laughs> as expected of an adeptus such as oneself. Uh, what? One must indeed be in a no, dream. Well. <laughs> Ugh, there's no helping this guy, is there? Oh, you're not dreaming. Dream yourself to all feel no pain. Huh? What is the meaning of this? Do you truly think that one will permit such insolence in one's own dreams? I feel bad that we got sidetracked in the last episode because this would have been cooler in one go. Uh, and now, uh, the other quest also couldn't be done in one go. I think I still need to learn something about getting sidetracked. Time to take him down a yeah, bit. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's hurt this guy a little. Oh, I can fight him. Yeah, that's what I have been waiting for. Such impertinence. Where are one's followers when one needs them? Oh my god. Giving headshots to this guy is all I ever wanted to do in this game. This is what salvation feels like. Wait. Is he not taking damage? Okay, now he is. Oh, I got Rex Lapis here. You want to get some beats? Hey, hey, stop it! Stop it! Ow! <laughs> Please stop! I surrender! I surrender! So are we still going to do this one self song and dance? Uh, no! No, never again! You, you almost killed Can you me! you take off that ugly ass mask? Please! Oh, how did I ever have the misfortune to meet oh, you? Oh, shut up! Please, great adept, I spare my life. I won't do this ever again, I swear it. Shell spits on him. We did call your spirit here, but we're not Adepti. He, however, is. You deceive the masses with quackery. Masquerade as an Adeptus. 
exercise demons without exterminating them, and display a callous lack of regard for life. Oh yeah, you name it, bring it on. One day, you will reap that which you have sown. For those who invite the Infernal into their lives, there is no redemption. Go get him. Uh, I... You're... Seems like Shell's got him scared <laughs> stiff. Oh, great Adeptus. Might I ask your name? He's the Vigilant Yaksha. Shouldn't he answer for himself, though? It really is you. It's truly you. Never in my life did I imagine that I might meet the conqueror of demons, the vigilant Yaksha himself. Uh, don't don't play the fanboy now. You know about Shell? Oh, he's acting so pathetic, please. Of course. My grandfather was a folklorist. I learned the tales of the conqueror of demons at his knee. To this day, I am an avid collector of books concerning the Yaksha. Why faking your identity? But ever since I discovered a sigil of permission while rummaging through my grandfather's personal effects, at first I was just imitating the Adepti for fun. But slowly, I began to stray further and further from the righteous path. Huh. So to sum you up, you're Xiao's biggest fan? <laughs> No. Yes, thank you both for allowing me to witness the conqueror of demons in the flesh. It's like a dream come true. Why has true? no one, no one used this picture as a meme on Twitter? Like, the, oh, you're Xiao's biggest fan. Like when someone is like, like some fans are thirsting over him on Twitter, just replying with that image. Oh, so you're Xiao's biggest fan? No, I'm Xiao's biggest fan. I even pulled him in a gacha system. I got Xiao in Constellation Four. Ah. I got Chow maxed out on the first day I pulled him because I have been saving up essential material since the child banner, I don't know. Uh, that wasn't quite our intention. She's like, I'm Chow's fan too. We should totally make a Chow fan club. You wanna join? Oh, great conqueror of demons. Please allow me to swear this oath before you. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain the name of the Adepti. I will remember your oath. Now go. Make like a tree and fuck off. Thank you. <laughs> a thousand thanks for your forgiveness. And for all that you have done for Oh, me. I quit the simping now. Come on, be gone. He seemed very earnest when he was making that oath there. Guess he won't be tricking anyone anymore. Pathetic. Oh wait, we haven't gotten the sigil of permission oh, back yet. Let's head over to Wang Shuin first thing tomorrow and look for him. I'm babysitting this guy now, are we? Uh, go to Wang Shuin and ask for Golden about the false adaptus. All right, let's go back to Wang Shuin and uh, spit into this guy's face as he's trying to get some sleep. But we won't tell him. Oh, it's raining. It's beautiful. Let's talk to Virgo. Let's just fall down. Who needs stairs? Yo. Virgo is my favorite cat girl. Tell me the truth about the star snatcher. Okay. Hey there, boss. Star snatcher's staying here, right? Star snatcher. Hmm, you mean the false adeptus who wore a mask? <laughs> she knows it. Oh, wait, a star snatcher isn't a made up name then, because there's Star Snatcher's Cliff, so I suppose there was a person called Star Snatcher. I don't know if it was an adeptus, because I think people would know the names of the adepti. Uh, but it's not made up at least. He signed in here under the name Wang Ping. Ah, oh, so that's his real name. That's a really normal name. He's already checked out. He said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, yes. He also requested that I give this letter to a traveler who journeys together with a talking fairy. Should they come asking for it? Paimon's not a fairy. Paimon is emergency food. How dare you disrespect Paimon like that? My voice cracks. Just stay in character even more. Talking fairy? Who's that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, did you hear the cat? Uh, did you hear Bell Gold at meow at me? Well, anyway, you must be the traveler. Here's the letter. How strange! 
arranged that he would leave a letter for us. Is this the final attempt to fool us, maybe? Come on, open it! Paimon's curious! <laughs> oh. Huh? Seems like he actually left us a few nice trinkets. Uh, halb book, Digga. Just give me a whole page, a whole book like that. By the time you read this letter, I will have embarked upon my journey of self-improvement. I regret- Wait, how did this guy talk again? I regret that I cannot apologize for the two of you in person, but I hope that you will forgive me. Since the conqueror of demons appeared to me in a dream, I have not slept. My nights have been spent thinking about how I may fulfill my vow. Not only have I deceived you two, but I have also exploited the hopes and dreams of my believers. Believer! People in dire straits have become weak. Dire straits, isn't that the name of a punk rock band from the 80s? Uh, first you blind me up to something to believe in. With my lies, I brought them false salvation, while their true desires grew farther and farther away. I know in that long gone era, the desires of mankind were not as complicated as they have now become. What is he gonna do about the believers? They're just standing outside waiting for him and he's like walking away like the pussy he is. The conqueror of demons shouldered the desires of Leo's people as he counted with demons, contented with demons. Wearing his mask, he concealed the weakness brought by human desire. As a false adeptus, I am one who always wears a mask. A true adeptus only needs to wear it when facing demons. If I wear a mask to hide the evil that has corrupted my heart, then the conqueror of demons wears a mask to hide the part of him that is human. And yet he wears the face of a demon king only that he might subdue all demons. You know who I would rather believe that he's uh, an adept I are in Yaksha, Yaksha rather than the living star snatcher. Because we all know that one of the, one of the Yakshas is actually Corp's husband. Because he's wearing a mask, the mask from, uh, what is his name, Frank, I guess, the bunny from Donny Dark, or, uh, once I, had re once I had realized all this, I became deeply aware of my own ugliness, and I understood what it truly means to be an adeptus. I set off on this journey over hill and river, strengthening my body and spirit, not because I harbor any hope of fully atoning for my sins. I do it only to earn that right to be counted among the believers of the Adepti. I have already asked someone to return the money I cheated others of. Okay, that's good actually. A few good remains in my position, in my possession, but they are, but they are of no use to me on my journey of self-improvement. Please take them. Please take the sigil of permission that my grandfather left me as well. I am no longer worthy of it. I wish that you will be granted that which you desire. May we meet again. Wang Pingan, a sinner. Oh, hey, I actually like the letter you wrote. Along with. <gasps> Woohoo! The sigil of permission! Now, oh, Paimon can pretend that she's an adapter. Paimon hasn't met a bad guy like him in a long time. I'm actually quite touched. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, let's go take the sigil of permission to Xiao. No, shall we? we're gonna use it now. We're gonna be adapter now. Can we like use the, the dream thing, dream tavern, troll thing that we did with Xiao to uh, talk some five stars into joining our party? Talk to Xiao and give him the sigil of permission. If I would find this guy, I would gladly do so. But oh, can I fly into the elevator? Can I fly into the elevator? Can I fly into the. Can, 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 uh, ah, damn it. Xiao, where are you? Oh, now you're telling me I have to go higher. Oh, come on, I could have just jumped down from the balcony if I knew where he was. Probably at the place where we first met him. Come back here. Shao, where are you? Alright. That's a long way. I could have just... Oh my god, he was literally behind me and I didn't... Wait. Lower... He's not here, is he? I don't know, no, no time for daily commissions, man. I don't time for daily commissions. Where? Where's Xiao? <laughs> oh. Fuck. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. Navigate me. Okay. Running after the sparkly lines. 
Oh, hiding in the corner, are we? Oh my god. Ah, there you Sneaky are. little bitch. We got the sigil of permission back. Do you want to take it? You have my thanks. May I take your order, sir? One grilled tigger fish. Oh, he's ordering for pervases. Certainly. We'll prepare it for you immediately. Huh. No almond tofu this time? Well, that's not like I'm you. I'm a you already forgot. Tigger fish was Pervasi's favorite dish. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Oh, that's cute. Huh. <sighs> By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. He must be so lonely. <laughs> Was there anything else? I am accustomed to eating alone. Oh, believe you be a no. Come on, Paimon. Uh huh. And so, Detective Paimon and the trusty traveler solved the case and quietly slipped away. Ciao. You're you're we're friends now, okay? You don't have to be alone anymore. I just want to give him a hug. Oh man. Butterfly's dream quest completed. And they just threw me out. Okay. <laughs> Very gold it kicked me out of Mark's in. She's like, no, only I am allowed to eat with Xiao. The Archers of the Lantern talk to Vergolded. But guys, this is what we will be doing in the next episode. Xiao seems a bit lost in his memories. Best we don't disturb him. Oh. Hey, hello friend. He looks so sad. Anyways, guys, I'm not looking sad, but I'm looking tired. And I still need to play Animal Crossing today because one of my villagers is moving out, so I have to do Mystery Island traveling to try and find a better Howdy. Howdy. Please, head straight on in. Oh. I'm just ending this video, guy. I'm heading nowhere. Can I yeet him down the cliff, please? How dare you speak to Rex Lapis? Stop barking at me. I didn't do anything. Go despawn. Oh, don't despawn. Come back, doggy. Oh, fuck. Anyways, wish me luck on the traveler hunting. Traveler hunting. Villager hunting. Traveler hunting. I'm I'm hunting down Aoife. Where are you? Ah! I wish I would be playing co-op so I could chase down someone who's playing Luminaire while I run after her as Aoife. That would be funny. Anyway, guys. See you in the next episode of Genshin Impact. Until then. Blam, blam, blam. Blah, blah, blah. soon.